Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel, to all my viewers of awesomeness. And if you're new, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Click the little bell to ring, to, um, ring the notifications for all so you'll know when I go upload a new video. Today's video is hopefully going to be a short one. It is mixing the glue and water uh, pouring medium with some paint for a base coat because I was doing it a little wrong. I wasn't getting it thin enough. So I turned to Christina Welch. Um, check out the link up here to her channel. Um, she does a tutorial Thursday every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. And she goes live every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. So be sure to check her out, okay? She is awesome in teaching people how to do stuff. So today I'm going to mix some acrylic inspirations, acrylic color and crimson with my glue and water and GAC 800 mix. Now I already have it in a bottle. So let me stand all these up because I don't, oh, I'm going to need the water. Okay, I already got this mixed up. This is mixed 60% um, glue, 30% water, and 10% GAC 800. Easiest way to figure that out is to do 6 ounces of glue, 3 ounces of water, and 1 ounce of GAC 800. You can uh, double it or triple it or even quadruple it if you want to get some... Um, you know more pouring medium and it's just in an older water bottle see and all I'm doing is is I'm even when you mix it and even after it sits for a while you've got to shake I'm serious you got to shake that baby to make sure everything's mixed together now this is a 32 ounce container I like to try making um, 24 ounces of paint and and pouring medium but I found out for base coats I have to add so much water that it almost comes up to the top and you know when you're stirring and it's up at the top you can't stir fast and you can't um and you can't um 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 stir vigorously you know and because you're going to end up adding a lot of water to the base coat because the glue is thick so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to mix up 16 ounces of base coat. Now my bait, all my paints I usually mix with the glue pouring medium, one part paint to two parts pouring medium, and then I add, see, hadn't even opened it yet. Then I add um, um, one part paint, and in this case that's going to be six ounces, and then I'm going to do two parts of a uh, pouring medium which is going to be 12 ounces for a total of 18 ounces. I zeroed out my scale. Let me move it back a little bit so you can see the number. Move this back a little bit. Okay and now zero it out. Now I'm going to do six ounces of paint. Now I know these bottles have pumps but I don't think I need a pump for a big amount like this, so I'm just turning it over. There we go, come on. Uh, one thing I forgot to do, but I don't think it's going to make that big a difference because I shook it earlier, is they say on the label of these Creative Inspirations to shake it the first time you open it before you open it. And I forgot to do that. Okay, let me see, that's 3.8. Come on. I want six ounces, guys. Five point three, five point eight. So let me give it a little dollop. If you go a little over, don't worry about. It. And I just did six point two. Yeah, not that big a deal. Okay, now you take your pouring medium. You shake it up really, really good because 
you want it to you want all the glue lumps i guess you could call it the unmet the, the the straight glue to be mixed with the water in the gap okay now i'm going to zero it out and add 12. okay there we go because i do not know how much water I'm going to end up adding. There we go. Five, seven, eight. Come on. Oh, well, 12.1. That's okay. That point one takes care of the uh, takes care of the point two or three of the paint. Okay. Um, you always want to make sure you wipe off these threads. This glue can really stick your bottle shut. So wipe off the threads before you go putting your uh, cap back on. Okay, this part I'm probably gonna fast forward through because it t I'm not a fast mixer like Christina, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just, wait a minute, let me get it off the scale because I don't need to weigh it right now. I'm just gonna mix. Now, I like to scrape up and down the sides just to get the, the white glue down into the paint. Unfortunately, these are Ziploc containers, which they got like, like little um, ridges right here, and it makes it hard to get your stick all the way in there. So, you do the best you can with your container. I didn't find any at Dollar Tree, so I bought the more expensive ones, but you know what? The cheaper ones from Dollar Tree are better because they're smooth all the way around. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I scraped up the bottom. You want to scrape all the way around the side. Okay. And you want to make sure there's no more paint paint stuck at the bottom. And that is, of course, you can see that is, let me see how I can do this. Oh, that is way too thick. So, I'm going to add some water, okay? Let me, it's got the stick in it is why it weighs a little bit more. Okay, now... I just use bottled water or filtered water because I do have access to a place that I can fill up gallon jugs with free filtered water. But I thought for this purpose, I would do um, the water. Now, I'm going to add it an ounce at a time until it gets close. But you don't want to add a whole lot at one time. Okay, so that's one ounce. And you're going to need to mix it vigorously. See, I'm not sure how much water this is going to take, so that's why I'm going to add it an ounce at a time. But if you mix it in really, really good... Nope, I can see right now. So let me add two ounces. Okay, zero it out. There we go. So I'm going to, eh, okay, come on, stop. Ah. There we go, zero ounces. Well, why do you keep changing on me, scale? Oh, that's making me so mad. Okay, so now I'm going to add in two ounces. Up oh, 2.2, okay. So make note of that. I put in one ounce. And then I put in 2.2, so that's 3.2 ounces already. Now you're going to have to get the water mixed in. And I scrape all the thick stuff off the sides because I want to make sure that it gets, the water gets mixed in with every bit of paint. Okay. 
and you can tell if the paint if the water is still sitting at the top because you get these little bubbles and you can almost see the water sitting around the edge so just keep mixing okay now let's see still leaving a little bit of a mound so I'm gonna put now I'm gonna switch down to half ounces okay so zero it out come on scale be nice zero it out I need to get a new scale I think now I'm gonna add just a half ounce well 0.6 so that was one ounce 2.2 so that's 3.2 now 0.6 makes it 3.8 ounces I've added of water so far still wanting to scrape the sides so I can make sure everything gets incorporated And because this side is, has got an indentation, it's kind of hard to scrape everywhere, but you try the best you can. So here's a pro tip. Get yourself the containers from the Dollar Tree. They have lids. They come two for a dollar, as opposed to these. I think these were like two for four dollars. And stock up on them because they're just as good as these for mixing paint and you don't have to worry about the little ridges okay okay I don't see the bubbles still a little bit of a mound so I mean you're gonna get tired of doing this okay so <coughs> Excuse me. Zero it out. Oops. Get my arm off the table. And add another half ounce. It's 0 0.4. 0 0.5. Okay, so let me see. That's three... 3.2, 3.8, so that's now 4.3 ounces. Now, I'm going to post this video kind of unedited. I'm just going to, you know, take out like, like half a minute ago and get this up really quick this afternoon because I will be using this base coat tonight. Still a little bit of a mound. I want one half more ounce. Oh, oh look, it's at zero. Cool. Because you can't take the water out, but you can always add little bits more. So that's why it's good to add it a little bit at a time now if you ever ever get your paint too thin for a base coat um, what you can do is, is you can add a little bit more paint or a little bit more glue because that's what I have found works with this some people say glue is not a binder but I think it is okay let's see Oh. Okay. Mm. I'm going to do one more half ounce. That's 4.3 so far. Come on, zero out. Zero out. There we go. Well, 0.6. Okay, so that's 4.3 plus 0.6 is now 4.9. So that's almost 5 ounces. 
but you want to make sure it's thin enough but you don't want to take it right over that fine edge. Okay. And I'm doing this for you because glue is a little bit trickier to get thin than Floetrol and glue. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is good. This is good now. Let me see if I can bring it up for you to see. I don't know if you can see that. I'll have to look at the camera when I get off. Um, so, join me tonight. I'm going to use this base coat and a couple others. And I'm probably going to do some Fiona flowers because I love doing Fiona flowers with the, uh, with the glue pouring, with the Michaels Craftsmart glue pouring medium. So, tonight, uh, let me see, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. I will be live, so thank you for watching, and I love you guys. You're my viewers of awesomeness, and I'll see you tonight.